Hi Brittany, my name is Rebecca Johnson. I don't know if you recognize my username or not, but I've commented on a lot of your videos and you've commented back. I also mentioned you in my open letter to YouTube. I don't think you watched that either, but I've been following you for about a year. I've never seen you put a video like this up before. As soon as I watched your video, I went straight into my study and decided to film this video response. I wanted to kind of be there and tell you what I think. First off, let me tell you that you are not destroying the world. That's just ridiculous. I do think you have a lot of opinions. And your opinions are your own. You don't really go with the flow. You're not, you're not mainstream. Some of your videos have challenged my own thoughts on things, but I think that's a good thing. I don't think it's necessarily destroying the world or being as bad as a rapist. I think that's a good thing. In the video you asked if there was more to life than religion or love or surviving or American Idol, which I thought was really weird. I don't know the answer. I don't think anybody does, except maybe like Confucius, but he's dead. Though I do think that life is a reflection of your own state of mind. So if you're happy, you are going to see so many benefits of life and how you need to keep living from day to day. But if you're sad, you kind of just want to give up and you don't really see anything in humanity. Although I've never read much of your writing because I don't have any money, I have paid attention to your thoughts very thoroughly over the past year because they are so different from my own and because they have helped me become more open about certain topics. I don't get why people would be so angry about a magazine being published if, you know, if, if you're, you're just trying to get people to connect. They're stupid. If they're trying to tear down your work, I think there has to be something behind it. Something like jealousy or misunderstanding. There has to be some kind of fire to the smoke. It's like when people would get so mad at Rebecca Black and just completely yell at her when she was really just a 13 year old who paid someone to make a music video of her. People have their own opinions. If they want to thumbs down something, that's their opinion and that's their free will. Even if it's rude and uncalled for and it gets nobody anywhere. Without it, all the positive comments would be nothing. Obviously, writing a magazine isn't going to destroy anybody, so... Well, unless it's Playboy, but I don't really think you're doing any Playboy thing. Even Hitler only killed 400,000 people, and you're not even killing anybody, so I think, I think it'll take you a while to become the mastermind of evilness. I don't want you to stop making videos or stop doing the magazine or, you know, stop writing because that's stupid just because a couple people didn't like you. Dr. Seuss always said, be who you are and say what you feel because people who mind don't matter and because people who matter don't mind. No one can tell you that you are being yourself wrong and you know how to take care of yourself better than anyone, so don't listen to them. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal, you know, that you state your opinions and that you're not old enough to state your opinions, that one cracked me up. Okay, so what's an appropriate age to state your opinion? I think two is an appropriate age to state your opinion because back then I would get really angry when my mom gave me orange juice with pulp because I hated it. But according to this person, I'd have to eat the pulp and pulp is disgusting. So keep doing your magazines, keep writing, keep making videos, make as big a ripple as you can in this world. This video doesn't have a very big point to it but I hope you watched anyways. DFTBA.